Hey guys, welcome back to my Sims 4 Let's Play that I am cleverly calling Sim, Myself and I. Um, in the last part we created my Sim and if you haven't seen that video you can now um, and in this part I'm going to build our flat. Uh, from this point onwards I have sped everything up because I took a long time doing things. Um, I would like to say I had mouse issues, but I feel like a bad workman blames their tools. Uh, you will see my build mode skills in actions though, so let's get to it. Uh, what I would say as well is I apologise that these don't have their original sound. Uh, as I was editing the first part, I realised that actually my other computer had already recorded whatever I'd said, and I have no idea what I'd said. I know there is a conversation in this video with Ben somewhere and yeah, you, you just don't want to... There was nothing bad in it, but there was probably nothing useful in it either. We talked a lot about the technicalities of this house. So, um, yeah, this is me building our flat. Uh, I live in England, if you can't tell by the accent. Um, I don't know whether you can or not, because I'm not actually used to hearing my accent. Um, but yeah, uh, we live in a flat. We have upstairs neighbours, which I have not added to this playthrough because I thought, actually, let's not include my neighbours for reasons. Um, this is just me getting the proportions all wrong. So it took me a while, actually, to get this house how I wanted it. We've moved our sim in to Willow Creek because it's the default. Uh, there were a couple of spaces. I like to play in Newcrest because I like to build things up from the ground up. Um, so maybe we'll do that in the future. Um, but for now, what I really wanted to do was focus on building the house, moving the sim in, settling him in and doing things that I don't normally do. Um, Our flat is fairly small. Um, I would also like to say that this makes it look really, really nice. And for the most part, it's a lovely flat. Um, all I would say is you don't have the option to make the courtyard at the back grotty. And I don't have a washing line. I have a washer dryer, but um, The Sims only facilitates you having a washer and a dryer or one or the other. So we have put a washing line outside. Uh, there are a couple of other things as well that obviously you don't have in The Sims that you do have in, um, that we do have in the flat. Um, I forgot completely to add the cheats that allow me to put clutter wherever I want them. So I can go back and do that at a later date during the playthrough. It would be really cool to do that. Um, and also find some custom content. I was a little bit wary of doing that only because I just watched a video in which it totally went wrong for someone and I don't know much about the community. I am fairly green. I'm not really a community driven guy most of the time. Um, I love to get involved with the community so do leave your comments, do leave your suggestions, do leave any questions you have, uh, suggestions for other let's plays. I would love to do more sims let's plays but where the heck do you begin? I mean I feel like I have so much catching up to do. Um, we are just now doing the floor. So this was important at this point for me to actually know where to start with the kitchen. Um, and again, there's, there's very many things that change throughout this Let's Play. Um, my carpet is kind of like a grey brown, so this is quite deep. Um, but I tried to get them as pretty bang on as I could. Uh, this is one of my favourite things actually about The Sims is build mode. I love building houses from scratch. I love doing that kind of thing. They typically come out the same. Um, and another problem I have, which you'll see in a second, is I often put doors the wrong way around because I just don't have any attention to detail when I'm 
putting indoors, they always seem to end up differently. I apologise if um, this is a lot of moving around. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of camera moving. All I will say is it takes a while to get these things right. And yes, we do only have three windows in this flat. Not that I'd actually like to see out of the left side. There's a path and some overgrown trees and things and actually it's not very interesting. Um, so there's not very much I can do with the garden. I can put a couple of trees outside. Um, I was debating with it. It may change the Let's Plays. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it was actually really fun to do this. I really enjoyed doing this build because it came out surprisingly accurate and I wasn't sure that it would. Um, it also makes me realise that I have a bigger kitchen than I think I do. Um, so yeah. There's a lot of darting backwards and forwards because sometimes I forget whether it's best to go into room mode where you kind of see all the furniture laid out as you would in your kitchen. As you would in your kitchen um, or whether it's best to go into like the classic build by mode where you find uh, desks and things in surfaces and that kind of thing and it that for me has always been easier because that's how it's been done up until this point um, but actually I do still love using the sort by room and just being able to pick things up and throw them in um, But yeah, like I said, a lot of titivating around with the rooms in this video. I felt like I was making this house far bigger than it actually is. What's quite nice about this is it's only on one floor, but I can immediately see how I would probably expand it and it's a fairly decent size house to be able to do that with. I have no idea what I'm doing with our bedroom at this point. I think I'm bringing it in, but I'm not really sure why. Uh, anyway, we had a finished project that was good. And yeah, I'm just gonna watch myself be very confusing. the door in the right place, that almost helps. I'm literally just staring at this rainbow coloured door that's like right in front of my face. I don't know whether you can see it down there. I have never used that door. So you are currently looking at my kitchen my very bare kitchen. Oh, oh, we're putting in the microwave. And the dishwasher. And my oven. Like I said, on some of this I have cheated some money. Um, I only use Rosebud, which is a smaller cheap for money because I didn't want thousands of simoleons that I could then not deal with. So I've left myself with an okay amount of money. Um, but the whole idea for this was just to get it as accurate as possible. So I haven't gone completely wrecked, which is I have started with a fair amount in that house so there's not a lot of expanding to do at the moment but as we do I would like to make an upstairs I would like to expand on our garden I would like to do various other bits and pieces I think that would be really cool um one thing I have noticed a lot from this is there's a lot of oddities about actual buildings 
that you don't tend to get in The Sims. Um, for instance, of that small, very, very small one by one square is actually a pillar support, I guess. Um, it's bigger than a support in The Sims and yeah, it's, it's kind of things like that that I wouldn't normally think to put in my house, but I'm really impressed with how realistic this ended up looking and how supposedly accurate you can get a building just by using your imagination and your eye and that's really cool. Uh, putting in a bread bin now also went whole hog with the decorative stuff so I absolutely love doing decorative things and putting in cupboards which at this point are actually floating in midair. This is why it's a great idea to... <laughs> there you go, I'm just figuring this out. That's why, that's why it's a great idea to be able to look at something from the side on because you can approach different situations at different angles, just like in real life. I actually only have four cupboards. There we go, I'm just realising that now. And I think at this point I'm like, oh, should I put in the cooker hood? Yes, you probably should. This is by no means a speed build. I was more concerned with accuracy. Um, I think it's quite apparent that I'm a little bit out of practice. Ew. No, not that one. There are so many cooker hoods in this game. That's pretty cool. I like that. Right. So one of my favourite things to use in these games is the design tool, which I think I just tried to use on the cook hood, um, and it just lets you change through the various colours of objects. Um, was really peeved that there wasn't a recycling bin. Let me know if there's any good custom content that you think would help improve this playthrough i'm always looking for good custom content um i don't actually know what i'm doing with that bin right now oh lights no lights yes funny story about the lighting in our flat is that it has very unusual um sockets so there's not many bulbs that will actually fit in there as a result we had some lampshades on but they severely restricted the amount of light we were getting from those lights so we do still have two years on we still have bare bulbs it's the uh the hipster look i'm i'm totally going for a urban vibe as you can see by the rest of the house i mean so very urban sometimes basic is cool though i think at this point i was looking for a knife block because i'm sure there was a knife block in this game another thing i was kind of lacking on this one was i don't know whether the sims used to have toasters i'm sure they did because i mean sure you used to be able to make a toaster pastry um but they did, i couldn't find a toaster and they didn't have a kettle uh they have a tea thing for making tea which if my sim doesn't take to coffee i may do i'm not a coffee drinker i am tea all the way um, I love the smell of coffee, I'm just, it's quite bitter. Um, and so I have put a coffee machine in here, which you'll see in a moment. Um, I do actually have an espresso coffee machine type thing, um, which is really cool and looks very out of place in my flat as it does in this playthrough. So I'm, I'm glad that you can see this from all angles. <laughs> Oh, 
I'd also like to point out that the um, cupboard slash cloakroom that you can see right in front of us now is nowhere near this tidy. If I made it as busy as it really is, yeah. I'm also kind of annoyed that they didn't make integrated washing machines because I feel like where the washing machine is is underneath a cupboard and it would look so cool if you could build in these things um but sadly that's something they didn't do when they released laundry pack stuff otherwise i quite like the way everything just kind of connects i feel like they've learned a lot from the various different sims generations that we've been through where Oh, we didn't have top cupboards, or we didn't have this, that, the other, I can't exactly remember off the top of my head. Um, this was interesting. Um, I have a lot of black furniture in our flat, and um, there are a lot of contrasting shades of black in this game, so actually finding things that match, more difficult than I thought. And as you can see, most of that money just went on the TV. That was my first pitfall. I realized that I wasn't gonna have enough money, so I cheated some more, and I wish that worked in real life. I really do. I wish you could just type in a code, get more money, it's all good. I'm apparently unbelievably picky with furniture. Right, that was the, the hideous looking bookcase. Having watched a video with that ranked the 14 um, stuff packs from one being your favorite to 14 being your least favorite, I actually learned that I'm missing a fair few stuff packs. So if there are objects that I have been like, oh, why don't they have them? And actually they do, I apologize. Um, hit me up with the, um, stuff pack that they're in. I don't tend to buy a lot of stuff packs just because there's so many of them. Um, although I really should because like I say build buy mode is probably my favourite part of this game. Um, Yeah, let me know if there are any things I'm potentially missing. And, and just generally ways to improve gameplay because I love doing this kind of thing. So the more I can do, and the better I get it, the more playthroughs we can do. Um, let me know as well if you have any ideas for Let's Plays. Just let me know things. Talk to me. I love talking to people actually don't but online it's not really talking to people so it's, it's absolutely fine. All I will say is this is making me look like the indecisive person I am so I'm glad that that all shows through. 
Like, here's the thing. So that would have been the perfect dresser to have because that's virtually our dresser. But it doesn't come in black and black. It comes in black and your other preferred choice of colour. So... Can I like recolor those myself? I'm sure you used to be able to recolor things yourself in The Sims. Can you still do that? I don't know. Uh, also, another slight disclaimer: um, Ben's side of the bed, which is the right-hand side, doesn't actually have a nightstand it has a filing cabinet however since i couldn't get a filing cabinet maybe i can in a later pack that i don't have i had to get creative and put in another nightstand so it does actually look like we have two nightstands um i'm not that coordinated I even went into the study to see if I could find one and all I found was the same nightstands. So I'm I'm calling it a filing cabinet. And yes, there really is a desk with nothing on it in our bedroom. Um, I keep meaning to take it down and move it, do something with it, but we never do. Overall, I would say this is looking pretty good, pretty, pretty finished. I'm sure I move things around just one more time. I don't really know what I'm looking for at the moment. I think I'm looking for lights. This is probably the point at which I figured that I couldn't actually put a back wall in, so I couldn't actually put our courtyard in. Oh, and now I'm putting the shower right where, oh, oh no, I'm moving things. Yep, there we go. I felt like it had too much space. Just casually moving the sink <laughs> as one does. Another thing I've never understood is why that happens. So I don't actually want my toilet roll very high up on the wall. Am I doing something wrong? And now I'm looking at house plants, despite only owning a cactus and that being on the windowsill.
Again, this probably isn't exactly proportionately accurate. I needed to allow room for my sims to navigate around the house without hitting the dining room table. Um, because I'm like real people who can just maneuver around something. If a sim can't, they will stand there and wave at you and look blankly. And this is the part where Ben told me that my washing machine was in the wrong place, so I moved everything around again. And now I think this is coming to the end. I think we're almost done. I think I did a couple more things. Which I will now speed up for professionalism and for your own enjoyment. Um, all I would like to say at this point is we're coming to the end of the build, so I'm going to leave this part once I've rotated the house and done all of that stuff. Like I said in the previous video, um, let me know how you think this playthrough is going, tell your friends. Remember if you are subscribed to this channel to hit that little bell so that you get notified of every time I upload a video, um, because for some reason YouTube doesn't do that anyway and I will see you in the next part when we actually start this playthrough together um, and it will be a lot of fun I assure you um, also hit me up about things that you want me to do maybe things I don't normally do stuff packs I should get that I haven't already got um, shoot me questions do whatever I honestly um, open to ideas um, I will soon tell you if I don't want to do them uh, so that is going to be it for this part I'm sorry the video has been so long build mode takes me a while I guess um, I hope it wasn't too uneventful I hope you enjoyed watching me bring my flat to life before your eyes and I will see you in the next part bye guys